Yo guys, what's up? Sleepyo here. Today I have a quick review of the, the first exotic item in Division 2. It's actually a holster and I will also tell you how uh, to get it, at least right now in the PTS. Um, but that's probably also the way you will be able to get it in the live game when it actually comes out. So yeah, let's uh, start with the review, I guess. So as I said, uh, the exotic item is a holster and it's called uh, the Dodge City Gunslinger's Holster. Uh, as you probably know, you can only equip one exotic weapon and it will be the same for the gear pieces. So you can only equip one exotic gear piece. Um, there's probably more exotic uh, pieces uh, to follow. Don't know when or which ones, uh, obviously. But yeah, that's the whole stuff for now. I heard something about knee pads, but uh, I'm, I can't confirm that. But yeah, that's the whole stuff. So um, that one has some pretty cool talents that are based around uh, pistols. Let's start with the first talent, Slate of Hand. So that gives you 20% accuracy, 20% stability, 40% reload speed, plus 400% optimal range, and 20% uh, revolver damage. So uh, Subnos Drino and the Magnum, and I don't know if there's more revolvers in the game, but uh, those two for sure. And uh, I guess the revolver damage is just applied if you actually have a revolver, not if you have a normal pistol. The second talent is a quick draw. Swapping to your pistol reloads all your weapons. So that's basically filler up in good. So to all the people that use filler up all the time, well, you can forget about that because that exotic holster is just better. Uh, you just have to swap to the pistol. You don't even have to reload it. I still think that filler up is not too great anyway. So um, I wouldn't play the holster just for that, I guess. And then the last talent, um, that's all three active talents, by the way. Uh, the last talent is called Perforator. Uh, shots fired from your pistol penetrate enemies. So that sounds pretty cool. Pistol headshot kills grants plus 20% weapon damage and allows your primary and secondary weapons to penetrate enemies for 8 seconds. This duration is increased to 11 seconds when using a revolver. So uh, yeah, obviously it's a holster just for pistols or mainly for pistols. Um, even though some of the talents like quick draw are pretty cool anyways, even, even if you don't really play it with pistols, I don't think it's too strong or too weak and I like that you actually get rewarded for using the revolvers, because um, I always like the revolvers in the game. The Subnos Rhino uh, is definitely my favorite pistol, I would say. Uh, it's just not very good, right? But with that holster, it definitely gets a little bit better, for sure. Um, I will also make a build around that, but uh, not in the PTS, because obviously I don't know if they will change it. I don't even know if, if that will come um, right with Title Update 4. So I don't really want to make a build about that now, and I also need to farm the right pieces for a good pistol build. So that will come in the live game as soon as I get that holster, right? Another cool part about the holster is the mod slots. It has three uh, mod slots. Two of them are offensive and one utility. As you probably know, they changed the mods a bit. So there's only offensive, defensive and utility mods. Uh, no more protocol or system mods anymore. The protocols and systems are in, in the same slot now. You can just put offensive protocol or system in here. So that means those two offensive mods are basically plus 7% more pistol damage each if you have a god roll mod. It's like 1% weapon damage and then, I don't know, 5% pistol damage and some uh, damage to armor. So two of those really good mods that would be plus 14% damage just from the two mods. And um, that makes the holster pretty damn good, I have to say, uh, for a lot of builds. Just for, just because of those two slots. Because, because offensive mod slots will be really, really good when that update comes out, I think. So yeah, I guess that was the review or my opinion about the holster. I can just say uh, I really like it. Um, I don't know, it, it doesn't seem too powerful. Um, and the yeah, pistols are obviously not the strongest weapon type in the game. But it's definitely fun to play around with that, I think. But uh, how do you actually get it? Uh, let's get to that now. So, uh, sadly, I didn't record when I first logged on and did the first missions, but I can quickly show you where they are located. First of all, um, it is not a drop like the exotic AR from a boss. It is actually a blueprint, so you can just craft that holster multiple times, as you saw in the beginning. Um, I don't have the upgrade blueprint right now, but I would assume there will be an upgrade blueprint for that, so you don't have to farm those materials over and over again, right? But uh, yeah, I, you can't really buy that upgrade blueprint yet. It's not in the game. So yeah, I can't craft it multiple times, I just got it once. Anyways, to get the first part, uh, there's multiple parts of the holster, you need to talk to that chick at the crafting bench, um, Inaya, right? And she will sell you a mission for, I don't know, <laughs> if, if that price is actually something that will be in the main game. It, the mission costs like uh, 600 credits or something, I don't know. 
So you buy that mission and then that will display in your projects um, right under the daily SHD requisition uh, right here. I already did it as I said so you can't see it right now but uh, what you basically have to do I don't think it says it directly but you basically have to clear that control point the Riverside gas station. The control point is located north or west of the map and as I said it's called Riverside gas station. All you have to do is clear that. It doesn't matter if it's um, level 1, level 2, level 4, whatever. You just need to clear it and then you will get the first part. Which you can then donate at that project. And uh, after that, if I remember correctly, you will get another project. For that, you have to donate 3 more parts uh, for the holster. And for those parts, you have to do more control points. This time, they have to be level 4 though. So, the highest level. And what's also important is that you need to do a true sense. Hyena and Outcast control point. So one control point of each faction on um, level 4. And yeah, each of the faction control points will give you one part, which you can then donate. And after that, you will get the last project, which I can actually show you now, because I recorded that one. The last project is called Showdown at High Noon Saloon. And uh, the description of the location where you have to go is a little bit wrong. It says that you have to go to a bar northeast of the White House. But the bar is actually located right here, which is more like just east of the White House to me. But um, yeah, anyways, if you know it, then it's not too hard. So uh, you have to go there at noon, and uh, that starts at 12 p.m. in-game time. You can check the in-game time by going into the photo mode, and then you will see it on the right side of the screen. So I don't know if you can be right on the bar as soon as it turns noon. Uh, I was standing like 200 meters away from it and then just ran there as soon as it turned uh, 12 in-game. And as you can see in the footage, uh, I first was a bit confused when I went to the bar because there was uh, a different faction. I think it was Hyena or uh, Outcasts. Uh, but then some Black Tusk NPCs appeared and um, yeah, then I realized, okay, that's the right bar. So you just have to kill the Black Tusk NPCs. Um, one of them is a boss and that boss will drop the last piece. After that, you can just go to the, the projects guy at the base of operations. And um, yeah, your projects will be claimed as soon as you talk to him. After that, you can just go to the crafting bench and uh, craft it. And uh, that's how you get a new exotic holster. Uh, I hope that video was helpful. Um, as I said, it's the PTS, so things might change in an extra live game. But I don't think they will change the way you obtain the holster when the patch goes live. Thanks for watching. And uh, as always, if you like my content and want to support me, make sure to drop a like and uh, maybe subscribe to the channel. See you in my next video. Bye.